the National Walk for Life. And they came from all over the country, anti-abortion groups and a number of... In 1970s America, a culture war is playing out and women's bodies are once again the battleground. The reason I'm here is because babies are being killed in our hospitals and clinics. Fifty years ago to the day, the Supreme Court's landmark Roe v. Wade rules every woman in the U.S. has the right to an abortion. Good evening. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. Fast forward five decades later, and women in 2023 have less rights than their mothers. The Supreme Court has essentially reshaped American life. It's going to be Last June, the right to abortion was overturned by the court's conservative majority, rights taken away by the very institution which had enshrined them in the first place. I am pro-life, and I will be appointing pro-life judges. Trump had fulfilled a promise to the anti-abortion movement. Today at a pro-choice march in Florida, Vice President Kamala Harris criticized the Supreme Court's decision. Today, however, on what would have been its 50th anniversary, we speak of the Roe decision in the past tense. The overturning of Roe v. Wade gave the power to decide on abortion rights to 50 states. A wave of change has followed. In 12 states, there are now near total bans on abortions. In five of these states, the ban is being challenged in court but remains in effect. Two further states, North Dakota and Wisconsin, do not have bans in place, but abortions are unavailable because clinics have closed, while Georgia has banned abortions past six weeks of pregnancy. It's estimated around 22 million, a third of America's women of reproductive age, are living in states where abortion is either unavailable or severely restricted. Of course, the need for abortions haven't gone away. Campaigners say it's just got harder and more dangerous. There's a lot of fear. Uh, there's a lot of effects on care because doctors are facing, you know, possible serious criminal charges, which means sometimes if someone has an abort, uh, like a stillbirth or a miscarriage, they're unable to get care because their doctors are afraid they're, they'll cross some kind of um, difficult to draw legal line. I'm going to give you a doctor's name and you to call her. Since the 70s, abortion clinics have been regularly targeted by right-wing extremists. Just this week in Illinois, a suspected arson attack on a clinic. Infamously, in January 1998, Eric Rudolph bombed a clinic in Alabama, killing a police officer. Emily Lyons was the nurse on duty that day. She suffered serious injuries. She has since devoted her life to pro-choice activism. The laws are more deadly than what happened to me. Uh, we always say that the pen is mightier because they make the laws. It is a matter of control. Always has been. Conservatives say they won't stop until abortion is abolished in all states. Their critics believe overturning Roe versus Wade isn't just taking a step back. America is heading, they say, somewhere far worse.